use the timer, the stopwatch, and the alarm clock on your Garmin 4Runner 945. Press and hold the upper left button to reach the controls. Uh, the controls are uh, those things that you see just right here. You navigate with the, the up and down button to the control that you want to use. Actually, as you can see, if we go all around of the, th the three I've just named, the only one I will see is the timer. So if I want to add the other ones with the alarm clock and the countdown, you're going to need to press and hold the menu button like that and add control, select it, and then go down to alarm clock, select it. And then we're going to go down to stopwatch just right here. So to add it, you select it and we go back to the control page. So now, as you can see, there is the timer, the add alarm and the stopwatch. So let's start with the timer. Uh, so actually, because it's the first time I go inside, uh, it just asked me to select the time I want my timer to be. By default, you are on the minute. You can select the minute you want with the up and down button. So you reach that time you wish. So let's say eight minute. And when you're satisfied, you can select the start stop button to reach the second and if you want to change the hours you need to go back with the back button and you can again select the hours that you want so let's say eight minutes and zero seconds like that start stop confirm and now you're gonna have the uh, i can do start on top you got the actual time of the day Below that, you have the time remaining, and then the eight minute here is uh, the actual timer. On top, you can see that there is a circle that go all around the watch. So it kind of broadcasts the percentage of the timer that it's done or remaining. So <laughs> you can leave it like that up to the end, or you can stop it and reset it. Into the option, uh, you can modify the time, save the timer, restart it, or you can change if you want sound and vibration or just tone, tone and vibration or nothing. That's up to you. Uh, you can save that timer. So like that, the next time you come here on timer, you're going to be able to select a quick timer or select the eight minute. It will be just right there. So if there is something you use, that is the same time and you do it every day. It may be practical to keep it just like that. Then let's go back and we're going to see the stopwatch. So when you go into stopwatch, you're going to have on top the time of the day. You have the start button and the option button. So let's start that timer. So there's the timer and you can add a lap uh, at some point. So if I do a lap here on top, I still see uh, in big my actual uh, all around all around uh, timer and then under it we see the uh, lap so actual lap previous lap I can create another lap and again I can see the time of that lap the total time and you can create as much lap as you want at some point uh, you won't be able to see everything on the same page but you can use the uh, up and down button to navigate to uh, the other lap if you want the, the the timer to keep going on but do something else with your watch you can use the option button and go back to watch face so like that however there is actually a bug that will probably be fixed one day uh, but if we come here back to the stopwatch you see there is the timer just right here it's not stop it keep going but if I enter into the page, well, as you can see, there's a white page. If I stop it, I can see the time. But if I restart it, well, it's it's gone. But it's still going on. It's weird. So anyway, at the end, you can do a stop. I'm going to reset it just to show it to you. But uh, if we create some lap at the end, if we go into option, you have the option to review it to, to see the time of every lap and everything. And you can also uh, save it, option, if you want to save the activity. It's it going to go into Garmin Connect. And um, yeah, you can enable, disable the lap key. And that's pretty much, that's it. You can reset it and restart a new timer. Finally, 
Uh, let's go to the alarm clock. Uh, so if I select it, it's going to ask me to select the time I want my alarm. So let's say at 5.30. Like that, I have an alarm at 5.30. I can select it. And then by default, uh, the alarm will uh, be will be there only once. So it will ring at 5.30 and then it will be disabled. But that's something you can change. So if you enter into here, uh, you can enable or disable it. So, uh, so actually it was uh, repeat once. So you come here if you want to re-enable it, if it rings sometime. And then you can select the time again, repeat. So do you want it once? daily so every day weekday so from monday to friday the weekend or custom so if you go into custom you can basically have it on wednesday and sunday if you wish so when you come back here you see uh, it repeat on wednesday and sunday forever then you can select to have a uh, vibration only tone only nothing and tone and vibration Actually, I like vibration only. If you are into a dorm, uh, you'll probably be the only one that will be wake up uh, because of the watch. So I think it's great. Uh, then you've got the backlight. Do you want the backlight to turn on? You can also label it as wake up, workout, reminder, appointment, and so on. And you can also delete it if you don't want it anymore. So the next time you're going to go into the alarm clock, well, Actually, if you go into the alarm clock, you will see that it is on and it will be. And the next one is at 530. But when you, we go inside, you can add another one or you can see the one that was just create. Finally, you can also delete it. So I hope this will have help you to understand the stopwatch, the countdown and the alarm clock. So this is it. Thank you for watching, I hope it helps, if yes, please smash the like button. If you are planning to buy this watch, you can see my link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can find me back easily next time you need help. If you want to see my other tutorial about this watch, you can see my playlist just right here. And you can also find me on my main channel just right there. Thank you for watching, take care, <laughs> see ya.